Oh no, Mario! Okay, we're back. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, you have like, what, like 80 minutes or something? That was 20 minutes ago I said that. Mm. Also, yeah. So we have an hour. <clears throat> wait, wait, hold on. I have a meeting at five. I have a meeting in an hour and 24 minutes. Okay. So I guess we're gonna be, um, um, we'll do as much as we can. Okay, um, where should we go first? <laughs> well, let's see what we got. <laughs> I say rolling green, because it's only, isn't that only one? Yeah, it's only one stage, or one star. Might as well, might, might as well do it. <clears throat> Welcome to Mario Golf. Okay, let's see how this f fills with the uh, Pro the Mario Golf, but I'm not even unlocked right away. <laughs> okay, I think. Wait. That's like Mega even Man. <laughs> like okay, Mega so... Man X7. Yeah. <clears throat> so you can't do it, do it in this game, but I think in Gal Galaxy 2 they made it so you can press the uh, the control stick left and right to just select a star. Which is we really nice. love Mario 3 theme. Da, na, 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 yeah. Na, 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 na. <clears throat> so this is another like motion control gimmick. I don't remember this being like one of the more favored ones, but no, no, I kind of like it. Um, it doesn't overstay its welcome. Yeah. It's probably easier with this than it is with, like, a Wii Remote, to be honest. <laughs> it might be. I, I don't know, though, because... Find the, out. <laughs> I'm, I have to move the whole controller around, which is a bit more, um... weird than, like, just using a Wii Remote, because... you can, like, make it... With a Wii Remote, like, it's basically just a, like, a joystick. Um, whereas this is, um... At the same at the same time with that, how many people let's be honest, how many people <clears throat> here have like dug like the port of like the nunchuck into your finger into your hand? Yeah. I mean oh. I always I always just um held the um the weir and just put the nunchuck to the side. Well no, it's not the nunchuck well well the nunchuck's not the problem. It's the fact that you had well because this game requires the remote and nunchuck back then, right? Yes. Uh, you can't play this with just the weir remote. Well, because like if you took the nunchuck out, wouldn't the game just say like no? No, no, I, d I don't. I don't mean uh, like take the nunchuck out. I mean uh, just put the nunchuck um, like on like next to you, and then just hold hold the Wii remote up like you're using a older joystick. Mm. Well, no, I know I do that too, but like, um, but like I kind of did it a bit more in a way. It's admittedly a bit more cumbersome. Yeah, I guess it also depends on your setup. Why do the Goombas charge after you when literally cut, like, why do they charge after you? Yeah, like, because I want to try. Yeah. They, um... I mean, it's like, with the ball, it's like an inverse of the usual setup, and this time, touching Mario kills them. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> running into you is just gonna make them die, so they just... I don't know. They really hate their job. <laughs> Get that they're trying. Yeah. The fun monkey ball level. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't yeah uh, again. Just that wasn't too bad, but I feel like the uh, um, layer stages with that might be a different story. We'll, we'll see. So like this room is, it is the bathroom, right? <laughs> it's the closest to that. And then it, actually, is that what yeah, we joked about last time? Yeah, there's no bathroom in the observatory, so like they don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, who's, who's ready to see the SS Dolphin? Uh, not yet, but. <clears throat> I'm putting way more thought into this. Like, the Lumas are just star creatures. They don't, probably don't need to use the bathroom. Rosalina's like. ethereal now, I don't think. Yeah. She's evolved beyond such human needs. Yeah, we. It's not. We don't fully know, like, what. Rosalina race, really? <laughs> that divine human. Yeah. So this is, um... A level that, like, really... Um... Makes good use of the, uh, pool star. Because, again, th this game specifically, like, really... Wants to make use of this mechanic. 
Okay, Maybe they're like the yeah. spaciest of all the space levels. Yeah. Just very sorry. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, that's a I good point. Th I, th I think this might be the most spacey level in the game. I could be wrong. I, it definitely feels like it, though. It kind of feels like we're just out there. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> hey, there it is. Yeah, this is the um the ship from no, Pikmin it's... 2, I think. Yeah, it's Pikmin 2. Yeah. Like it's in disrepair, I... what happens? Yeah. What happens to the crew? Yeah. Um, they... Olimar got the dolphin back. <laughs> well, better than my theory. Just, just abandoned... <laughs> They they well, got is your theory. Yeah. They got attacked by some Nintendo equivalent of a xenomorph. <laughs> good. Plasm Rafe, am I right? Oh god. So um oh, no. fun fact, I guess, um for like coinless runs for this game, apparently this is one of the hardest levels because it's just really awkward to like move around the coins in the uh pool star sections. And um mm. I I mean, personally, I have no real interest in doing coinless runs of these games, but it's kind of interesting. <laughs> People do stuff like that. Well, I mean, I, I can't do anything like that. It's just like, because it's way too instinctive. Yeah. Dang, like... it's, it's like those levels in, uh... I think there was like a couple levels in like Sonic and the Secret Rings where it's like, don't touch the rings. Yeah, I think so. You're not going to talk to the Toad? Uh, well, that continues the level. Let me just go back. Imagine if, like, you knocked the pump. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Again, at least the toads. The toads really are just trying their best. <laughs> yeah. How did they even get stuck in? The, how did they even get stuck in the crystal? <laughs> um. Yes. Yeah. Well, the. Uh, uh, no. Uh, they don't have the spin powers. Yeah. I mean, the toads. Yeah, but how in... they get stuck? <laughs> well, the, the toads in <laughs> they the. Don't have the spin power. The, the toads in the in the mushroom in the mushroom kingdom like uh, just got put into the into ice when they just got hit with the meteors or whatever. So that's interesting. Hmm. I don't know why maybe, they didn't well, just maybe, blow up. Well, maybe there's more meteor. Well, maybe there's more meteors then. <laughs> yeah, this is cool too. Meteor her coming your way. Meteor her coming your way. Oh yeah, you're probably gonna see a lot of uh, stuff being downloaded because I went on the. Spending's pretty early yesterday. <laughs> I was gonna say, what was that one that was just? I think that was Hades. I yeah, just brag oh, I about how much stuff you have. <laughs> brag about the money you you actually can spend. <laughs> <laughs> you can thank the um, uh, Switch and um, sale bit happening for that. I'm surprised you didn't grab Gen U. <laughs> uh, I I was. I'm gonna... I heard that Shen move for a moment. I, I assume you're talking gen, <laughs> gener, Generations Ultimate, right? Yeah, my friend. Everybody yeah. just called it Gen U. Right. Yeah. No, I'm gonna get that too. But that was um after my bank was basically like, "No, you're spending too much money," and issues happened. Of course. So I'll get to that in a minute, but well, not a minute, but you know what I mean. It seems that a prankster comet. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh gosh. So, I don't exactly... I don't know if we should do these as they appear, or just uh, focus on the main levels first, or... I'll leave that up to you um, two. I mean, uh, how many... There's o is, only, is there only, like, one per level? I think? I mean, if it, if, it clears the, if it clears the terrace, then we might as well, like, go for it. Also, I never give this guy anything. <laughs> oh, this guy here. Yeah, I only do that if I absolutely have to. Because I, I think there can be instances where, like, you need to do comments, but none of them are there, so you just have to talk to him. Ob yeah, obviously, we're going to do the first one that showed up just for the reason. Yeah. Yeah, Speedy um, Galaxy, which is just speedrunning, isn't it? Yeah, the speedruns are probably the worst ones, just for the fact that they're really easy and boring. <laughs> like, they get a lot more interesting. Oh, that's the worst? That, that's your worst? Uh, that's your worst? <laughs> what? Are you going to say Daredevil? <laughs> In terms well, of, I... in terms of difficulty, like it's. Hmm. Well, daredevils are easily the harder ones. Yeah, they're some of the harder ones. It's uh, it's 
For me, it's between those and uh, purple co purple comets. Well, like the, in terms of like daredevils, um, the one that comes to mind is like in the lot. I think it's in the lava world. Oh yeah, that's the that's um the like the last ma one of the last main levels in the game where uh, it's not it's one of the only daredevil comets that's like a full level. It's not a boss, and it makes it extremely dangerous because it's also a really long level. Right, it's like a five minute run. Yeah, and it's even, um, e even if you're even if you're speeding through it. <laughs> yeah, and it's also one of the late like last levels in the game, so it's not it's also not um the most simple level either. <laughs> I associate this music with like episode seven of Super Mario Brothers Z. But uh, <laughs> I wouldn't know. I've 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 only seen the uh, reboot. I've only seen like one episode. <laughs> They changed these up in Mario Galaxy 2, if I recall. Yeah, that's why I specifically say I don't like the speedy comets in this game specifically, because it's always just the same level again with a with a time limit limit that's like extremely generous, so it just feels like you're doing a regular run of the stage again. Um, whereas in Galaxy uh, uh, 2, uh what were you saying? I think I think in Galaxy 2 it's like your time limit is like Super sure, but any other pick out clocks along the way. Yes, um, there's two ver two versions of it. Also, I'm going this way. This is what I was talking about in an earlier part, where some levels have two different pathways. This is the uh, different path for the for Good Air Galaxy. Um, but yeah, in in Galaxy Two, um, there's um, the time attacks that are more more like this game, but the difference is that the time is a lot less generous. So you do have to be a lot faster. And then there's the other time attacks where you have a really short time and you have to collect clocks. Which, uh, I don't know, I, I think that's a lot more engaging. You really can't lose these unless you're actively trying. <laughs> yeah, unless you're like actively going for like every collectible for some reason. <laughs> like you and do normally. Or I, guess, yeah. or, I guess if you're, or I guess if you're just bad. <laughs> or you know, a child, like. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Shut up, Jason. God. <laughs> Jason is mean, confirmed. No, I'm, no, that's the evil Mario still, like, holding over me. <laughs> One thing that is kind of annoying, though, um, is, the, is the fact that I think... I think in this game, the timer doesn't actually stop until you get the star, so... Uh, don't just sit around after you beat the boss. <laughs> well, I mean, why would you sit around? I don't know, but... I don't. I don't know. It doesn't end until you get the star, so that's fair. Oh, you, yeah. You should see how. You should, oh, you, you should see how like the the challenges are in Hat in Time because I think what mm. they do is the timer is always running. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you have so you actively have to like skip cutscenes. No, oh, that's funny. I think in Galaxy Two the timer does stop there. Which well, is as nice. soon as like as soon as like the level is like over. When the star appears, basically. Which might as well be the levels done. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's it's not really a like a massive complaint because again, these stages are really easy. But um, you know, it's just it's just nice that Galaxy Two like actually fixed that, as minor as it is. Does the game tell you whenever there's a, po a comment? I don't know. I mean, you can always just check this, but still. Like, because what I tend to do is I tend to, like, just check the board oh. again. So you have this now. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Mr. Mario! Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this this happens every time you, uh, blow up, up the game. This is basically the... Hi, Rob. <laughs> this is basically, yeah. um, Nintendo's way of kind of alleviating the whole restarting with only four lives thing, which is fine, I guess. But at the same time, sure. we're gonna do. Here's the thing, though. If you're gonna do this, why not? Why not just let us start off our lives? <laughs> I don't know. I think we. Um, I don't think we mentioned it earlier, uh, last session. I think you were gonna like talk about it at one point, but there's when you 100% this game, you unlock a Luigi run, and I think you get 21 ups from from Peach instead of just like five, mm. which is nice. Luigi, I'm sorry that your traction sucks. Here's a little gift. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, th I think 
yeah, I think Luigi's run is meant to be a little bit harder. Um, I know one of the, like, the Cosmic Race challenges, the uh, Luigi does a lot more, like, advanced tech, I guess. But besides that, it's more or less the same game. Ah, dang, you lot are useless. Yeah. Oh, no. I like these airship levels, though. It's... It's, um... Uh, it's cool, like, exploring these things in 3D. And, uh... I mean, they... They aren't in, like, a lot of games, but... It's cool. Like, what is it? The... Well, how many games have they been in, the, the airships? Mario 3, yeah. a sunken one in Mario World. Right. Uh, Galaxy Games, and New Super Mario Brothers, Wii, and U, and I think they're the, they a new, the new are, games for Wii. Yeah, I, I think they, they, Yeah. Are they a new Mario 2? I don't remember them being in 2. No. They might be, but. I mean, this theme may as well just be the Imperial March for Mario. <laughs> hmm. You know, the Goombas don't have arms. What is the point of shells being there for them? Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't think... The Koopas aren't really enemies in this game either. They're, like, at most, you just see them walking on all fours. Um, it's really weird, I'm not sure what was up yeah. with that. Yeah, they don't usually do that. Like, they're more shell creepers than Koopas at this point, at, in this game. Yeah, it, basically, whenever you see a Koopa, it's just the game telling you, use, use the shell for something. <laughs> it's a little secret. So I don't know if this it's just, yeah. What are you saying? Mm. Hmm? For startup, keep you at the level. Yeah. I am going, I am going in and out because he's getting atrocious. Yeah. Red shell. Yeah. The red shells are like the home in. Yeah, it's the, basically a Mario Kart kind of a thing. It's kind of weird scene, but the, it, it's kind of funny seeing the Koopas on, on fours. Yeah, it's weird. Is this like, is like the only game that does that? Or like, these two well, games? Well, it, it turns out 3D games anyways. Because mm. they were technically on fours in um, the two in the original games. Were they? Yes, they yeah, they called. Well, like in... Uh, the like Mario third. 1. Hmm. Yes, they crawled around in Super Mario 1. That was also a joke in Super Mario Brothers Z. I don't remember that at all. What's your name again? Carmilla? Yeah, I think um, so. Camilla? Uh, Ca Cam Camilla. Yeah. Cammy's... Uh, Kamek's mother, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I mean, given that uh, the Paper Mario universe is just... Uh, not it's a different universe. Uh, like I don't know. May maybe this is um the um the the main Mario world of um for of Mar main Mario world's version of what is it the Cammy Cammy yeah Cammy. from the uh, Paper yeah. Mario. Because um I don't think you ever see her in a regular game. No. Nope. This is like the qu like closest equivalent to that. She's the, and, and even then, she's not a threat. <laughs> eh, she gave him some trouble in Thousand Year Door. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Well, she, oh, yeah, she's part of the Bowser boss. <laughs> Screw that boss, by the way. <laughs> that's when my playthrough ended. Right. You do realize that's literally at the end. Yes, because I couldn't beat them and I couldn't get to the actual final boss. So screw <laughs> them. Oh, well, you can probably do it now. Yeah. Oh, there's a comet. Oh, okay. Well, I guess blue, which one's that? Which, which one's blue? Is that... That's the Cosmic Race. 
Mm. I thought Mario was gonna bonk on the roof. Yeah. I guess we might as well do this now. Well, because all, all they have left are purple comets, I think, which are not until much later. Yeah, those don't appear until, like, post-game, I think. So these ones are fun. The these are... Like... Races. Yeah, yeah, well, they're races, but, like, they're also... I also like how, um, the, the at least the first three 3D games had, like, a, like a... A race system or whatever. Um, like in uh, 64, you had um, Cooper the Quick and some other stuff like that. And then Sunshine had um, LP and Tissimo. Yeah, laughing hell. Also, th this is <laughs> basically just the Shadow Mario model with just cosmic stuff going on. Yeah, why, cool. why does he sound like he inhaled a bunch of helium? Also, is she? Did you, uh... you get a speed boost? Oh, if you run into, oh, you get, oh, you, oh, oh, yeah, oh, I just ignored him. Yeah, you can uh, get star bits out of him, but yeah. So is he like made of space? I guess so. E it's Echolo's cousin. Who? <laughs> Pure character. Wait, okay. Yeah. Who? <laughs> Echolo. Yeah. Up. Uh, yeah, these start pretty simple, but they um, do get more difficult. I remember when the uh, I remember how in like later things they would change up how the cosmics work. Mm. Yeah, like cosmic cows. clones. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in this uh, where they would just yeah. you would just get endlessly chased. Yeah. yeah. Were you trying to say something, Scrappy? Cosmic Mario here is actually benevolent yeah this yeah this game like he just wants to race you and every game after this is just south for blood <laughs> i don't i wouldn't say he's benevolent you hear that laugh he makes when he spawns <laughs> that's just his natural voice yeah it's, <laughs> it's, it's like a <laughs> yes but you get you can get a starting boost i if you have to like crouch and like press a when I it says go or something like that and then I think Mario gets like a spin, like like a quick spin off. Oh, I oh. see. I guess. Okay. Sure. Um. I mean, it's right here. We might as well. Yeah, this is one reason why I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of the hub in this game is because, um, when you have to go back and forth for the um the comet stuff, uh, it's it can be a little bit like. Maybe tedious is a bit of a strong word, but what I like in Galaxy 2 is the fact that since it's a much more simple world map system, you can just go to uh, the different galaxies in like in like really quick uh, succession. So mm. you don't waste time just one like walking to one dome to another, which is which is nice. The thing is with the uh, Comet Observatory is that. I like it for world building and like the area itself, but when I think of like think of the uh, hub as like a gameplay thing, it just kind of gets in the way more than anything, if I'll be honest. Because the thing is, what made um, Peach's Castle and I was it Delfino Plaza so great is the fact that you were um, finding new areas and you could like find secret stars and whatnot. And, um, you were actively, like, looking around the hub world to find the new, like, levels and whatnot. Whereas in this game, you just, you finish a dome, and the, it, it's not exactly like the domes are supposed to be hidden. You're supposed to know where they are. So, you don't really have any secret stars in, in the hub world or anything like that. So, it's, it's just one of those things where this more linear take on Mario level design doesn't really fit with a hub world, so I feel like it made a lot more sense for Galaxy 2 to just streamline that even more and just, like, you still have a, the small Starship Mario to walk around to, like, practice your movement and whatnot, but the actual world maps are just level select, which I think works a lot more for a game like this. Because if there's nothing to really find in the hub world besides 1-ups, there's no real reason for it to be there, to be honest. 
but mm. you know. Just I, I also like how there's just random coins that got added. <laughs> huh. To distract you. Yes. These is black and you just, yeah, you just Yeah. <laughs> just like funny about you just ignoring them. Well you know where the platforms are gonna be then. Yeah. What was I say? These um colored platforms remind me of like uh, remind me of like the toy magnetics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. And, oh. Yes, kids, I'm yeah. old. I mean, do you? I mean, do you guys have anything else? Anything to add about the Comet Observatory? Yes, but I will not tell you. Just enjoy the silence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll think I'll have a bit more of a comment about it. Com comment yeah. about it about it later. <laughs> yeah, we got a prankster comment coming up soon. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I'm curious. My opinion has been about the same for for a decade now, I think. I've never. I don't think I've ever heard you, like, either of you guys talk about the observ observatory. And you never will. <laughs> um, observatory has better atmosphere, whatever that means. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's, it's a bit it's a bit tedious to, tra to traverse. And I thought that even as a kid. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty, say, that's pretty much it, yeah. That's how I feel as well. Didn't you, say, didn't you say this was the second boss in, like, the demo or whatever it was? Oh, yeah, um, the, the demo thing. Yeah, the, yeah, Tyrantox was one of the bosses you could fight in, in the demo. Like, um, yeah, you had, like, three different pathways you could go. This, you either fought this guy, um, the, one of the guys in Good Egg Galaxy, I forgot the name, and, um... King some, Caliente? Yeah, King Caliente, and... There's a third boss, but I, I don't know what it is. I have more bosses than I remember. Mole? Oh, mole. It might have been the mole, actually, yeah. Oh, I said mole. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this game, the Galaxy games have a lot of boss fights. It's a lot of variety. They... Uh, I'd probably say... Um, I, I'd say that I like the boss themes more in, in this game, but I think the bosses themselves are better in Galaxy 2. Hmm. Because, um, yeah, I don't know how you guys feel, but I feel like I want to say that overall I, I say this game has the better better soundtrack. Um, but it's very close between the two games. I, I, I'm kind of off and on. Yeah. Also, I noticed there was a, uh, star, a star bit Luma. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. I want to try and focus on, like, the main stars before I do any, any of the, uh, Extra stuff. Are you gonna go after that one? After this star, then? Yeah. Yeah, some of the hungry. What do you, need, you need like you need like fifty for this one, I think, right? Something like that. Yeah, some of the um, hungry lumas are more strict than others. As in, you need to pick up every star, but you see. Yeah, I know. In yeah, I know. In Galaxy Two, they get pretty uh, strict. Like even early on, like I think in like what is it, Puzzle Plank? The the coin luma there almost requires you to get like every coin. <laughs> hmm. We. Is it yeah. make Martin run through glass every day? Yeah, I do like that. Eh, it's the, nothing. Uh, eh, it's nothing new. Yeah, I do like that they they made the uh, the star bits a thing though because. Um, it makes the more tame parts of the game, so like, you still need to do something. <laughs> so... I'm a chuckster! <laughs> I'm the chuckster now. Also, it's totally possible to just fling the toad into nothing and just kill him. <laughs> mm -hmm. It doesn't affect anything, it's just funny. we give you a secret star for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You murdered a toad. Good job. And there was a th and I saw a trip and I saw a life mushroom. It's fine. We should be fine. <laughs> or, or health mu health mushroom ever. Yeah. Oh yeah. One of <laughs> like I guess this is like my last comment about the demo. Um, if you want to know more about it, there's probably videos you can find. But <laughs> I don't know why, but um, I just find this this bit really funny where the 
there, there was like the guy playing, and then there was the like someone just commentating about it or whatever. And when he got to, I think it was King Caliente, the player just whispered into the guy's ears, like, "This is the boss," <laughs> and, it, and it was just like, "Oh, this is the boss." <laughs> I don't know why really? I find that. I don't know why I find that so funny, <laughs> so stupid. Oh, my mm. nipples! Ah. I, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, this might not even be a mini of Bowser. This might be like a natural predator, and we're like just interrupting nature. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's what I got. I got from Dino Piranha. Yeah, I mean, we're, yeah, we're kind of just um, like getting in the way. <laughs> getting in the way of these guys. They're just chilling. Just. Just come to a foreign galaxy and destroy the ecosystem. I mean, with Dino Piranha, we're like, um... Making that... What is it? Like, we're basically... Making life before they're, like, ready to actually properly, like, be born. I so, like how man. shiny this is. Man my, man, my world is fucked up. <laughs> I mean, that is, why, is the, yeah. why is the web glowing? I don't know, but it's really pretty. <laughs> that is, yeah, that is... Bl bl bloom, that's why. <laughs> yeah, that is the first boss that can be uh, kind of challenging if you're not not careful. Um, I know, like, I used to have um, a lot of issues with it. You discovered a new galaxy. Hungry Luma. Do you have enough to feed him? Maybe, but before we do that, let's uh, do the... Hungry Luma in this stage. Yeah, they're courteous to like tell you what level is the the secret stars in. Show them. Yeah. So I need to make sure we get as many star bits as possible. So make sure you spin all the enemies you can. Yeah. Yeah, I just love how, Ow. like, serene the, this theme is. Like, it's not one of my favorite tracks, but it's a very good, uh, just, and just a very good atm atmospheric piece. Nice and quiet. Yeah. Taking the vastness of space, if you will. Space. It's really big. <laughs> Also, I like how that's a. I feel like I've heard that before. Also, I like how this platform is like a uh, backwards L. It's Real a Tetris piece. Seven. Yeah. We can um, we we can pretend it's a Waluigi reference. <laughs> yeah. E eighty doesn't believe Waluigi exists. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. What do you need? Hey, you. Yeah, you guys. Be me a and Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Oh, so I need 50 to hunk the curve the hunger pangs. Okay. Keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, um I'm not full enough! Oh no, I gotta burst. I'm still hungry. Hungry? Gosh, imagine if they were like like Oops. Imagine if they were like still talking while you're trying to collect more. Yeah. Oh, give me more food! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That should be should be good enough. Yeah, no, that's more than oh, enough. Dude, now I'm gonna start. Yeah. Feed me! Hooray! Gosh, you're like a cat. So are you ready for Yoshi's only uh, appearance in this game? And I say that very um <laughs> light well I No, I, no, I... no, he was in no, he's one of your files. Oh that's he who. was one of his files? The, the, well, the, yeah. <laughs> now, now, you, now that you mention that, um, this is basically like playing on one of the, uh, file things. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Okay, this is like one oh, of the- you, you get a one-up, I think, if you can make a bounce of eight. Yeah, I've never actually managed to do that before, because it's actually kind of difficult. Is it like a rainbow? I thought there was a rainbow star on here somewhere. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Nah, it's not gonna work. Nah. Yeah, I've never managed to do it. It's like you have to like make the goobies ah. um be in a good spot. Yeah, you had to bait them. Yeah. Ah. 
Is that it? Oh no. And don't go on the nostrils. That is fire. Yeah. This thing isn't even a plant. This thing isn't even a plant. It's like just a wooden effigy that's floating in space. <laughs> it's like, I, I just I like to imagine uh, the devs just being like, "Oh crap, we didn't put <laughs> Yoshi. We didn't put Yoshi in this game anywhere. What should we do?" And I just make a random star where you just go to like a wooden Yoshi planet thing. You'll be fine. Da, 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 da. Yoshi. Oh, is, it, is this where they I go when I throw appearance. them off this? <laughs> wow. I mean, sounds about right. Who, like, whoever um, decided to like make that one, uh, like, ex secret exit in Mario World, where you have to like abandon Yoshi, is is like evil. I mean, you don't have to use Yoshi for that. You can just play around cape. with your, yeah, use the mm. cape. Fair enough, but still. No, 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 no. If you want one where you have to ditch Yoshi, play Kaizo. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have to do that stuff all the time in that. Kaizo does mean asshole, I think. Uh, <laughs> speaking of abandoning Yoshi, one thing that's, like, really funny is that, um... Do you guys know PK Sparks? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he, whenever uh, he plays a Mario Maker where, uh, stage where you have to abandon Yoshi, he just skips it and just and just uh, has like a blank face like, no, we're not abandoning Yoshi. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, when you ground pound for that, it kind of worried me. Oh, I didn't. Did I ground pound? Well, I think you did. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so people are trying to make a Galaxy DS version, which is interesting. Like, it's apparent. I'm th I'm thinking of I'm talking about this now because I just saw a video where they, you uh, played this uh, Galaxy, um, and uh, it's kind of fascinating. Like, apparently, it's not even it's not even uh, built off of the 64 DS engine, like. They're making it completely from the ground up. Impressive. And, yeah, it's impressive. It's basically a very fuzzy version of like Mario Galaxy, which I mean, the fact that they can make it work on the DS is is like really impressive. So.